Okay. It is Halloween, and I am wearing one of the coolest things I've ever been sent in the mail. It is a needle felted lamb skull hat made by Cobalt Streak's mom. Seriously, super epic. Um, I always keep it in my office. I don't have it in my fan curio because it's too delicate. So I actually have like a helmet on underneath it. Um, look how cool this fucking thing is. Big ups to Cobalt's mom. You're a very talented lady and a nice one at that to send me something like this. It's super cool. Also Cobalt's. He's pretty cool too. So, um... I haven't done this yet. Uh, there's, a blah, 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 blah. there's a tutorial in the game. That tutorial will teach you the basics of how to play The Legend of Bumbo. And I'm just going to run through that real quick with you. And as you can see, also, I have a cool webcam. Look at my cool webcam. You can see my face now. All right. So there's this little keeper guy in this very barren room. Um, and he says, hit me with some bones, kid. I'll give you just one movement point. There's the movement point up there. Use it to line up four bones and then throw some, wait, throw that bone my way. And this is where people learn that they, they can do this. They can go up and down. Oops, I did the wrong thing. Ah, oh, well, I get to restart and do it again. And you line up four, boom. It makes a bone. So it shows you that bones are attacks. If I miss, ooh, it's a miss. I get to do it again. Make the bone. I can hit him. Plop. Deal some damage. <clears throat> Thanks, I needed that. But I'll need more. Give me two more. I'll give you two more points this time. But I want you to line up five teeth and throw them straight into my kisser. So I've got two movement points now, and two moves, obviously. You go boop, and boop. And it shows you that bones deal more damage than teeth when you combo them up. Boom. Or our teeth deal more damage than bones, sorry. Wow, that packed a punch. Teeth and bones both hurt bad when, you, when thrown. <clears throat> and the more tiles you match, the more impact they make. Experiment with combos and tile combos. Uh, so then I get multiple movement to move this over, but this is to just show you that it goes through. You can keep going through. So I get a double combo. Teeth and bones. And as some of you have seen from actual gameplay sessions, uh, teeth and bones are different. Uh, in that when you combo bones, it gives you multiple bones to throw to hit multiple enemies and teeth get multiple damage upgrades. So it goes from one damage to three damage to five damage, etc. So it goes really high, but bones just multiply one damage times whatever your combo is in addition to four. Hey again, now it's time for me to hit you. So now he's primed. I'm going to hit you. Whatever you do, don't match four booger tiles and gum me up. And then again, reiterates that you can pull through in order to combo things. Let it go. Blink. Booger is made. And then I can throw the booger at him. Plop. And then it's my turn again. You got up the works there, didn't you? Boogers only stop one action by an enemy, so be careful. Here I come again. So now he's going to hit me again. I'll show you what that looks like. Oof. So what I want to do... So he said, gotcha. Try to block my attack with that, with a duty next time. So two movement. I'll make a poop shield. And I'll place it directly in front of him. And then he'll poop, he'll, he'll hit it. Oof, I just punched a darn poop. Uh, how'd you know to do that? Oh yeah, poops can shield you from one single enemy attack, but you know that already. Uh, now just finish me off, and I'll give you a little treat. So you get a few moves to experiment with things. This introduces the P drops, which gives you one extra move when you combo them. Um, and then it's up to you to uh, 
figure out how you want to finish this off. He's primed. I did this in the least ideal way possible. He's going to hit me. Hopefully he won't kill me, huh? Alright. Got the last bone hit. Smack. He's dead. You get rewarded. And we go to the next room. Yep, me again. Wow, I really gave you a run for my money, didn't I? You should probably heal up a bit. So this also introduces hearts, which are a lot less common. Heal up. <clears throat> and once again, see? Hearts are a lot less common than other tiles, so don't get used to healing so easily. Uh, the way the game works is it it's a rare tile that is only generated from the next area up. Um, and it stops after a certain point, so you can't completely grind it. Okay, it's time to get crazy now. See, each tile you match actually gives you specific colored mana that you can use to cast spells. Crazy, huh? Here, take this. And I gained Bumbo Smash. That spell takes bone mana <clears throat> to use it. So just match some bones. When it lights up, click on it and knock my face off. I'm going to do a five, five bone. So you can see that it does two shots. Now Bumbo Smash is ready. Click it, select where I want to punch, and it punches down the lane. That's how all the lane stuff works. Smash. Think you're ready for a real battle, dude. Before you go, let me give you a few tips. You can visit the casino after each boss, so save those coins. Bosses usually have more than one action, so be careful. And that is the tutorial of The Legend of Bumbo. The ever elusive tutorial. Um, as some of you know, I'm not a huge fan of, of dialogue tutorials and step-by-steps, but with a puzzle game like this that has a lot of complexity, I didn't see any other way to really do it. Um, but of course it's interactive, so it does get the points across. Tell me what you think in the comments below. Does it make sense? Is, is it, is it seem like, uh that should get the job done. Is there anything that I completely missed that we should be adding to the tutorial? Um, we're two weeks away from launch. Like I said, it's Halloween. So if you got any ideas, you better fucking say them now because this is the end of the line. I'm gonna start doing streams, maybe um, every other day until launch where I just QA and play some Bumbo. I'm probably going to do that right after this. Little quick streams. Uh, so feel free to subscribe so it I, you know, sends you info on when we go live. Um, and I'll also be tweeting that stuff. All right. Till next time.